Okay, so this is a story about how I got banned on GitHub. <laughs> and just to begin this story, I'm going to show you a little script that I wrote called WatchPlus. And what WatchPlus is, is it's a tool to watch repositories on GitHub. At the time I wrote this, I worked at Lyft, and Lyft used GitHub to do their software development. Not GitHub Enterprise, but GitHub hosted, so github.com. And uh, what this tool does is it ensures that all of your repositories are watched. Now, there is a check mark on GitHub that does this automatically. However, um, my employer was also using GitHub, and they had thousands of repositories. Like, I think it was like three or 4,000 by the time I left. Uh, and I don't want to watch every single repository at Lyft. I have no interest in most of the development that goes on in most of the repositories that I wasn't working on. Uh, so unfortunately, I had to uncheck the automatically watch repository setting on GitHub. But as soon as I unchecked this, now I was no longer following my own repositories, which I did want to watch and I did want to get notified about. Um, and so that's where this tool comes in. Basically, you have an allow list of, well, actually, if it were an allow list, I wouldn't have gotten banned. <laughs> I instead have a block list of repositories that I don't want to watch and it watches all the other ones. Um, and so, yeah, and I hook it up with GitHub Action scheduled builds to make that happen. Now, what happened was um, I was, or somebody, somebody packaged one of my things for ContaForge. And if you're not familiar with ContaForge, uh, ContaForge is a service, well, it's a collection of users that take packages and repackage them for Conda. I believe it was future f strings future f strings feed stock i believe they package this for Honda forge and part of this is there's a little metadata file nope not that one uh where did the metadata file go um i could have sworn it was this file uh recipe here it is there's a little metadata file that shows what the maintainers are. And when this had originally been set up, they had set me as a maintainer here. And uh, ContaForge is a whole bunch of magical automatic scripts. And one of the side effects of setting a maintainer here is they are added as a contributor to ContaForge. Not just the repository, but to all of ContaForge. So if you look at ContaForge, there's probably you know thousands of users. Well. I guess only 340 of them have decided to make it public, but there are actually thousands of users. And since I was a member of Conda Forge, that meant that I was a contributor on every repository in Conda Forge. And so Watch Please was like, oh, okay, cool. You're not watching these uh, 13,000 repositories. It was only like 10,000 at the time. And so it automatically made me watch every single repository in Conda Forge. And <laughs> I woke up to like 10,000 emails from GitHub from every little action that happened on a Conda Forge repository. And when I went to log into GitHub, I was not allowed to log into GitHub. Um, this was actually right while the, um, the watch script was firing for the second time because um, it, it had timed out and errored out the first time or something like that. And I basically had to manually unfollow every single repository. Although I think I think I used the API to do it. Um, but then I added a I added them to the block list in WatchPlus, so I didn't I didn't follow all of ContaForge. Um, you can see that I also have some other repository or other organizations here that I don't follow. But yeah, that was how I got banned from GitHub. <laughs> 